Imagine being named after a priest. Adolf Hitler, the infamous dictator, was named after a priest who was his father's friend. Born in the year 1889 in the quaint town of Braunau am Inn, Austria, young Adolf was the son of Alois Hitler, a stern, irritable man, and Clara Hitler, a gentle, nurturing woman. His childhood was far from ordinary. Alois, his father, was a tough disciplinarian who frequently clashed with his son, a contrast to his mother Clara's gentle and loving nature. It was a turbulent household, a breeding ground for the boy's emerging fiery temperament. Young Adolf had a dream, a dream that was far removed from the world of politics and power. He aspired to be an artist. He held a deep passion for painting and sketching, a passion that his father vehemently opposed. Alois wanted his son to follow in his footsteps and join the civil service, but Adolf had different plans. Little did the world know this art-loving boy would grow into a man who would change the course of history. From a struggling artist to a powerful dictator, Hitler's rise to power was as dramatic as it was devastating. After the First World War, a disillusioned Hitler found a new direction in the German Workers' Party. This entity soon morphed into the infamous Nazi Party, a platform Hitler would use to disseminate his radical ideologies. In 1923, Hitler orchestrated the Beer Hall Putsch, a failed coup attempt that landed him in prison. Yet, this setback only served as a springboard. Behind bars, he penned Mein Kampf, a manifesto outlining his vision for Germany. Upon his release, Hitler's influence grew. He became the Chancellor of Germany in 1933, and within a year, he assumed the role of the Führer, the absolute ruler of Germany. In a span of a decade, Hitler had gone from a political prisoner to the absolute ruler of Germany. Once in power, Hitler's reign was marked by a brutal dictatorship and the horrors of World War II. The world watched in horror as Hitler's policies took a catastrophic toll. His aggressive foreign policy and racial purity laws plunged the globe into the devastating World War II. At the heart of his reign was the Holocaust, a systematic genocide that led to the death of six million Jews. It remains one of the darkest chapters in human history. As the tide of war turned against him, Hitler retreated to his bunker in Berlin. His final days were marked by desperation and delusion. With the fall of Berlin imminent, Hitler chose suicide over capture. His death marked the end of an era of terror and destruction, yet the scars of his actions remain etched in our collective memory. Hitler's life, marked by power, terror and destruction, ended with his death in a bunker, leaving a world forever scarred by his actions.